Alright, so here we have another vocabulary video. Today we're going to be talking about the term collinear. Uh, so let's get started. Our objective, as has been for the past couple videos, is using and identifying basic shapes and terms in geometry. Remember that the reason we want to be able to do this is so that we can communicate with other people. When we are able to communicate, it makes a lot of this stuff so much easier to do. Um, so we're going to be practicing along with the video as we go through this. So today, like I said, the word that we are going to be going over is the word collinear. Now collinear doesn't mean anything particularly weird. It just means that the things that we're talking about are all on the same line. So if I have three points and they're collinear, then that just means that they're all on a line together. Um, and one thing to be aware of is that because when we defined a line, we defined it as, uh, you know, we defined it through two points. Uh, any two points can have a line drawn through them. And so any two points, just by the fact that there are only two points, are always going to be collinear. So if you are asked, is point A and point B, are they collinear? Your answer is always going to be yes. If you've got two things, there will always be one line that you can draw between them. So let's talk about sort of visually what's going on. Um, so for example, here we have A, E, and B are all on this line right here. Let's call this line, um, let's call this line M. So let A, E, and B are all on line M together. We know, therefore, that point A, point E, and point B are all three of them are collinear. Um, likewise, on point on uh, line L, we see that there's point A and point C. So we could say that point A and point C are collinear because they're both on line L. But if we look at point C point A, and then another point, point E. These three points are not on a line together. C and A are both on a line, line L. A and E are both on a line, line M. But C, A, and E are not on the same line together. We would have to be able to draw a line between them in order to make that work. So let's actually look and go the opposite way. Um, in this case, we are trying to figure out, well, what points are collinear. And basically, if you want to figure out what points are collinear to A, well, we can start at point A. And we can just sort of draw a line out. If you look here, well, D and C, they are both collinear to point A because if we draw a line from A out, you can hit D and C with that same line. If I were to just take this line and sort of drag it around, I can see what other groups of points are collinear to point A. Well, B is collinear to point A, but we knew that because any two points are collinear. But if I go through and I keep dragging along, look, E, G, I, and M all four of those points are also collinear with point A. All five of those points, A, E, G, I, and M, M is in Mary, all one, two, three, four, five of those points are collinear with each other. If I were to keep on going, I might be able to find some others. I could also start on a different point. I don't have to start on A. I can start on whatever point I like. I could start at F and see if there's any points that are collinear with point F. Uh, F, B, and E, see how they're not all on the same line together? They cannot be collinear because I can't draw a, a line between all three of them that crosses through. Uh, see here, I keep going. This is pretty close but it's not exact so we won't 
call F I N K. Uh, um, I keep going here. I can reasonably say that these four points are collinear because they all lie on the same line together. Um, and that's pretty much all that collinear is. So go ahead and play around with this if you want to try and find. I have made a whole bunch of other sets of points collinear. Uh, just go ahead and look through it. Play around. See what you come up with. Until next time.